Hi, I'm going to talk through how I 3D printed some climbing holds. Um, I made them for my hangboard, but I do try standing on them to see how well they hold up. The first one I did used a model from Thingiverse. It's uh, Pikachu by Davis Lehman. Uh, the link is in the description. First, I used 3D Builder. It's free from Microsoft. I found it easier to modify STLs without damaging them using this. First I made a new scene, then imported the Pikachu STL. Then I drop it down to be flat on the surface. I wanted to add some airs to him, so I take a sphere, stretch it, move it into place and rotate it a little, and then mirror it to get the second ear. Save the file and then merge the parts into a single object. To get his tail, I cut him in half where he intersects the ground. I did think this would leave me with two pieces, but it didn't, so I had to import the model again and then cut it to get the tail part. I move it, flip it over, and then merge it with the main body. Now I'm making a cylinder of 11mm. I'm using this as a clearance size for an M10 bolt. Sounds a bit big, but I know holes come out a smidge small on my printer. Then I do a cylinder of 20mm for the bolt head. I'm using countersunk bolts so I make a cone. I have two different length bolts and the angle of the countersink is slightly different between the pair. When typing positions it's the centre of the part that's used. I then merge all three parts and difference them from Pikachu. I export the STL and open it in Cura. For printing, I used draft print setting, which was a layer height of 0.24 millimeters. Uh, I also used 30% infill gyroid, 2 mil for the top and bottom, and 2 mil for the wall thickness. I didn't have yellow th filament, so after printing, I primed and painted it. It's actually a little bit small for my level of grip strength and the smooth paint really does not help. I can just hang from him. The next hold used a Thingiverse model by Whitney Potter. I used OpenSCAD to size it um, and to add the bolt hold and then did a cylinder intersection to make it round. With the success of the first two I decided to have a go at drawing my own. I'll quickly talk through the process I did in OpenSCAD. I take a sphere, scale it and rotate it. I translate a second sphere, scale and rotate it again. I, I merge them with the hull command. I make it flat by differencing a big cube from below. Um, and then I difference a sphere from the top just to make it a little bit more positive on the fingers. I, I make a bolt shape again using a 11 mil through hole cone for the countersink and 20mm for the head. I changed the face number to get it smooth. Uh, in OpenSCAD that's $FN and I think I use 200 here. Uh, export the STL uh, back into Cura. For this one I half the layer height to 0.12mm and a 40% gyroid infill and it made it a 16 hour print. There's a video by Stefan at CNC Kitchen where he shows that 0.12mm is a good layer height for parts under an extension load, so hopefully it's also good for compression loads. Quickly sand off the edges and it's up onto the pull-up board. This one holds my weight fine. I make a second which is smaller and a bit more like pebbles. Put some holes in some 19mm ply and add 10mm T nuts. Then I stand on Pikachu. He slips a little at first when I stand on him, and after that, I, if I bounce hard, he does flex ever so slightly. The beige hold is solid, uh, rock solid. There's no movement at all. The same with the pebbly hold. I can jump up and down on them fine. For Mount Everest, again, it slips. It felt as tight as the other two. Um, 
as I'm bouncing my way, it pulls out from the top a tiny bit. So I wasn't sure whether it was the layer height or the shape of the object that was making a difference. So I printed the beige one again, but with the original print settings of 0.24 mil layer height and then had a go at jumping on it. And if you look close, it does look to just pull out at the top. I don't know if the rougher layer height just doesn't cup the bolt head quite as well, so allows more flex. So in conclusion, I didn't have any catastrophic failures. It does seem the smaller layer height and 40% infill work best on my printer. So hopefully that's a useful starting point for when you have a go. Have fun.